Frank Seppi for NPC News Online here at the NPC Photo Gym with IFBB Pro Neil Cash. Making his pro debut this weekend. You ready? I'm ready, man. I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm so ready, Frank. Dude, I've been waiting on this for a while now. jm has been giving me a hard time because I haven't competed yet, but I had to be ready. We're playing with the big boys now, so. So you got your pro card at the Junior Nationals, right? You sat out a year. Yep. What'd you do over that year? Grow. <laughs> I mean, grow, man. I, like I said, I'm a tall dude. You're a tall dude. Yeah. But like, so it takes a lot to fill out our limbs. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't come and just become a mediocre pro. I wanted to make some noise when I compete. So we'll see what happens. So now, if you look at the lineup, like, there's one guy who's almost as tall as you, Raymond, Ray Raymond Edmonds, right? <laughs> yeah, Ray, that's my guy. <laughs> yeah, Ray, Ray's a big boy. Ray's 6'2", though. I'm 6'4". <laughs> so. This is the first time I'm actually looking up <laughs> a, at a competitor right now. A, but yeah, but yeah, Ray, exactly. That's why I sat out a year, because Ray's huge, you know what I mean? Like, so I had a lot of gaps to fill in, and uh, I think we did a pretty good job of that. So There are a lot of pros out there, obviously, you know, who are taller. And, you know, they haven't been as, as successful as some of the shorter guys, except for Ray. Mm -hmm. So did you kind of mimic your routine or some of your off-season stuff on what Ray's doing? So if, if, if I say I didn't, I'd be lying, you know what right, I mean? I'm, yeah. You know, we all want to say, like, we're our own man and stuff. But you do have to kind of follow, follow the leadership, you know what I mean? Like, so Ray's been really successful in the IFBB. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's long, tall, and... Uh, so yeah, I, I've, I've mimicked a lot of his, you know, type of just everything, you know what I mean? Just to try to get to this level. So we'll see what happens. I'm ready to dance though. I'm, re <laughs> I'm ready, Frank. <laughs> like, what, do, what do you think sets you aside from all the other competitors? Um, Besides your height. Um, height plays, <laughs> so it's all about matchups, man. You know what I mean? Like, so at this show, like you said, there's a lot of tall guys. So I think right. that's what's going to stand out more than anything. But you, just because you're tall, you have to be full. So. Uh, conditioning really has never really been an issue for me. It's just I got to fill out these limbs. So if we come in right, which right now everything's on track, then we should be in the mix. So. We used to say back in the day, a big good guy always beats a small little guy. Yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, that's, that's true. Look at Arnold. <laughs> Case Arnold in point. Franco, right? So same thing. So talk about some of your training. What did you do like to, to fill out? Was it just about eating a lot of food, lifting heavy? What did you do specifically? Honestly, honestly I didn't get fat this off season either though. So like it was more quality over quantity. So I kind of monitored my weight and I didn't want it to go to like a crazy number. I've done that in the past and you just get fat, it just makes dieting harder. You know what I mean? Like, so, so more than anything, uh, I ate clean foods, a lot of clean food. You know, it takes a lot of food when it's clean. So a lot of clean food. And I trained really, really heavy. You know, a couple injuries here and there, but I trained really heavy and hard this offseason. I was just motivated, man. So I've been waiting on this for a long time. So now, wh Why did you pick the Pittsburgh Pro? Um, I kind of didn't pick it. It was kind of picked for me. It's kind of a home show for me. You know, I'm from Ohio, so this is right in our region, you know, the Gary Udit region and all that stuff. So it's our crew, the A team and all that. So um, it was pretty much inevitable. It, I, I had to pick Pittsburgh Pro. It's a big show, prestigious. I didn't want to do some little mama, even though no show's small now with these points, but yeah. I wanted to go go big or go home, Frank, you know. So. Plus you got the president of the NPC and IFBB Pro League yeah, the watching, the yeah, press. The pres, yeah, the press is watching. He gives me a hard time for being from Ohio, too. <laughs> so did JM. JM said you're a Bengals fan and you picked out the Steelers tank top hey, colors. All, hey, let me, let me explain this. I didn't pick this, all right? <laughs> like this was given to me. <laughs> Blame Rico. <laughs> Blame Rico, man. Blame Rico. Oh, JM just shout out, it's a lie. <laughs> hey, man, Cincinnati, till I die. <laughs> you trying to get me in trouble, man. Twice a year I'm going with Roethlisberger. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get me in trouble, man, but no. All right, well, so now obviously after this show, depending on what you're going to do, are you looking at, is it your ultimate goal to go to the Olympia? Olympia is the goal. Yeah. Olympia is the goal. Nothing else is to get to the O. So up, up next is probably New York Pro. We want to see how this goes first and then uh, go from there. We got, a, we got it planned out, you know, quite a few shows planned out. But right now I'm just focusing on Pittsburgh. So Have you been to the Olympia? Uh, yeah, every year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every year. <laughs> You've been like Mr. T and Rocky watching. I could beat that guy. That's right, man. Hey, woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, exactly, man. I just posted Clever Lang on my Instagram yesterday, man. I'm coming. Hey, that's my mood. So now I knew that, and I didn't. I didn't go on his I Instagram. I literally just posted Clever Lang yesterday on my Instagram. I swear, I said mood, and it was Clever Lang right there, dude. <laughs> Lang, so, so exactly. So now. Do you have your families here to watch you at the show? Uh, just some friends, man. Family's not here. I told my family, I said, hey, man, you come to the Olympia. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the goal. So. Well, you know what? There's so many NPC competitors now, especially men's mm -hmm. physique. And to make it to that level now, especially with the point system mm -hmm. and stuff, you have to be extraordinary, yeah. right? So, I mean, you took a year off. You're doing this show. Yeah. And obviously, hopefully, you know, you'll do well. That's and then the take it to the next, you know, the next level. That's, that's the plan. That's it. Too many people are in a rush, you know? Oh, I wanted to compete so bad. Now, <laughs> now I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I didn't want to compete, man, but I, I knew I wasn't ready. I knew I would have got, got out there. And, you know, some shows were, you know, not as competitive, but I still, it just, my physique just wasn't there. I would have got there and I would have got killed. You know, 16th place, sitting there in the, in the, in the back of the stage where there ain't no light. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want that, man. Like, so... I took the time. It's the longest off season, the whole year off, as long as I've ever had, you know. But well, mentally, it was much needed. It, yeah. mentally, that's tough because you have the people in the gym saying, "Man, you're better than him. Oh, you should yeah. be doing people, this." People in the gym will think you're Mr. Yeah. Olympia. You, uh, the, like a piece of advice for people out there: your family and your friends will think you look better than Phil Heath. All right. <laughs> like, yeah. like, so, right. So, so don't listen to them. All right. Never listen to You're them. You're not the ones that have to sit yeah. there after getting 16. Yeah, exactly. You're not the ones sitting there with the DNP. Did not place. And people are like, did you compete? Did you compete? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. Like, no. So, um, yeah, it was a smart decision. It was the best decision. It was a hard decision, but. Well, you won't get lost at six foot four on stage. They're no. going to find you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So. I, I, I'm really confident going into this too. I really am. <laughs> so. Is there anybody you want to thank? Um, yeah, yourself. Man, yeah, so many people. <laughs> Obviously, my family, of course, whatever. For you know, because you know how it is when you're in prep. It's just like you're so self self centered. You know what I mean? Like so, for being there, uh, Andy Bartolovich, that's my big brother. You know, I couldn't, I wouldn't be here without Andy B. I mean, my friends, my clients, everybody, just everybody, man. There's too many people to thank. So, <laughs> like so. And what's your uh, Instagram? Instagram is ccash15 underscore IFBB Pro. You had to put the IFBB Pro on there. You learned it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm never taking it off either. So until, unless it was like underscore Mr. Olympia or something. But, but yeah, so that's me. Do you want to give one message out there to all the IFBB Pro men's physique competitors? Uh, let me see. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> so. Thanks for taking the time. We're going to shoot now with J.M. Mannion yep. for NPC News. Appreciate it and good luck. Thanks, Frank. This is Frank Seppi for NPC News Online. <laughs>